Shabbat Shalom. Um, my hope and my prayer all morning it was an early rise this morning. 225. It's early, huh? Um, my, my hope and prayer all morning was that you, um, that me, that we would um, encounter the living God. Really, you know what I mean? Um, not just have a, a good service or, or hear a good message or enjoy good music or, or have a good time even. But really, I would really, uh, praying hard this morning, that, that you would have an encounter with the Lord. And because um, that, could, that could be a game changer. And I can only hope and pray, and you can only hope and pray, and then, and then God has to make it happen, right? Um, but that's my hope and my prayer. Um, so I think the best way to get started is the way we always start, by hearing from God and reading His Word. So that's what I'm going to do. And, and this, this song of praise goes like this. Adonai is my light and salvation. Um, if you read this psalm, obviously you can interpret it a lot of different ways, but in actuality, it's a prophetic psalm, most of them are. And, and this is really expressing Yeshua's innermost thoughts prior to Golgotha. This is what he was feeling and saying prior to going to the execution stake. So try to listen in that, in that framework. If you hear it differently, by all means. Um, Adonai is my light and my salvation. Whom do I need to fear? Adonai is the stronghold of my life. Of whom should I be afraid? When evildoers assailed me to devour my flesh. You see it now? My adversaries and foes, they stumble and fell. Do you remember in John 18, 6? When they came after him and he said, who are you looking for? And they said, Yeshua HaNatsaret. Do you remember what happened? He said, I am. And they fell down like dead men. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, I hate to say it, but back in the 90s, that was very popular to lay hands on people and have them fall. It's, a, it's, very, it's very nice to fall, especially when somebody's going to catch you. That's not the fall. The fall happens when the glory of God shows up. And there's nobody that will catch you except Him. When evildoers assailed me to devour my flesh, my adversaries and foes, they stumble and fell. If an army encamps against me, my heart will not fear. Can you see Yeshua saying this? If war breaks out against me, even then I will keep trusting. He was really the only one that, is, that did this 100%. We want to do this, right? Just one thing have I asked of the Lord. What do I tell you about one thing people? They're my favorite people. How many times in the Bible does it speak about one thing? Three times. Which is, you know, God's number. Divine perfection. It's, three times it talks about one thing. It says, one thing I know. I was lost. Now I'm found. I was blind and now I see. So that talks about salvation. That talks about the God who was, right? Talks about Pesach, right? That talks about being released from the penalty of sin, right? So far, so good. And then Shaul said to the people of Philippi, one thing, one thing I do is I press on to reach the goal to win the prize. I don't look back. So that's the God who is. You're not released from the penalty of sin at that point. You're released from the power of sin through the power of the Holy Spirit. He presses on and presses on to reach the goal to win the prize of the high calling in Messiah Yeshua. One thing, that's the God who is. Shavuot. And then this talks about another one thing. This is the God who is to come. This is not released from the penalty of sin, not released from the power of sin, released from the presence of sin. You follow? This talks about the future Sukkot. Listen to this. It's beautiful, guys. Just one thing have I asked of Adonai. Only this will I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. That's all I want. That's all I want. Just to live in his house. And, and why is that so special? Um, to see the beauty of Adonai. You really have to get this in your spirit. Not the psalm. The, the belief. Not the psalm. 
This is what you should be looking forward to. The God who was is done. You're released from the penalty of sin. The God who is is happening now, but you should be looking forward to the God who is to come. And visit in his temple. He's going to be residing in his temple. For he will conceal me in his shelter on the day of trouble. He will hide me in the folds of his tent. He will set me high in a rock. Then my head will be lifted up above my surrounding foes. And I will offer in his tent sacrifices with shouts of joy. On a timeline, this is where we are. Um, Maybe you're not there, but you should be. If you're born again, this is where you should be on God's timeline. It says, I'll offer in his tent sacrifices with shouts of joy. I will sing, sing praises to the Lord. So just, just think of this time as a practice session. And if you don't like doing it, you're going to be very bored because you're going to be doing it forever. Listen, Adonai, to my voice when I cry. Listen, I, I, I'll, I'll teach you. This is the time to cry out to God. This is not the time to have a praise party. It's the time to cry out to God. Finally, the body of believers is crying out to him. Praise God. Finally. Listen, out annoyed to my voice when I cry. Show favor to me and answer me. My heart said of you, seek my face. His face. Your face, out annoyed, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Don't turn your servant away in anger. You are my help. Don't abandon me. It sounds desperate. Hopefully you are. You can't fake this. If you're healed of everything, delivered of everything, and everything's perfect, something's radically wrong. Rabbi, that's crazy. Is it? Why does he need to come then? I love being dependent. I hate being independent. I detest it spiritually. In the world, it's just the opposite. You're supposed to be totally independent, independent of no one. But in God's kingdom, it's the exact antithesis. It's okay to be dependent and broken. You know what? It's okay that you're not okay. You're in the right place, Beth Yeshua. You are my help. Don't abandon me. Don't leave me. God, my Savior, had my father and mother have left me, Adonai will care for me. Teach me your way, Adonai. Lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Don't give me up to the whims of my foes, for false witnesses have risen against me. Also those who are breathing violence. If I hadn't believed, see what it all comes down to? Faith. If I hadn't believed that I would see Adonai's goodness in the land of the living, and then the admonition at the very end. Put your hope in Adonai and be strong in Adonai. Don't be strong in yourself. You can't. If you're going to be strong in yourself, you can't be strong in him. And I'm telling you, when the water rises, you're not going to save you. You're not going to deliver you. He's going to say, have at it. It's funny how people cry out to God when the water's here. I cry out to God before the water touches my toes. <laughs> I'm going to be very honest with you. If I hadn't believed that I would see Adonai's goodness in the land of the living, put your hope in Adonai, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Be encouraged. Yes, put your hope in the Lord. Amen? Yeah. We'll get right into it. The prayer is real simple. I just pray that my Father, that your Father is glorified by everything we do, say, and think in this, in this time we have together. May God and his great name be glorified. In the great name of Yeshua, amen. amen.